Hey everyone, Scott Colley, West Ham Fan TV. Welcome to the big match preview. Today I'm previewing the West Ham versus Liverpool game at the London Stadium on Monday night. Before we get started, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. The OneFootball app is the easiest way to keep up to date with all the latest scores, transfer news and stats. As I said, all in one place, a great app. I use it to uh, research a load of the preview stuff that I do. So uh, yeah, go check it out. If you want to download it, click the link in the description below. Straight in with a preview, as I said, West Ham take on Liverpool. Monday night kickoff, live on the TV. Tough one to be looking forward to. You know, we're, we're trying to recover after another shocking display. You know, two games on the spin, we have been absolutely awful awful you know the 3-0 defeat defeat to Wolves on Tuesday night <sighs> yeah. it's borderline embarrassing in you know apart from the fact at least it was a Premier League side massive respect to Wolves you know they put a brilliant performance in and you know just totally dominated us we, we just look so lackluster for me over the past two games we, we look like a side that's you know dead you know a side that's, that's beaten a side that's been renegated from the Premier League, you know, there's just no, there's no spark about our play at the moment, and, you know, that, going into this game is very, very wor worrying, you know, we take on Liverpool, top of the table, lost one game in the Premier League all season, yeah, I think offhand, I think they've only lost three games all season, you know, this is going to be such a tough, tough fixture, when you add into that, that the last four meetings between us and Liverpool We've conceded a total of 16 goals and losing all four of them. You know, it's, it's like 16 to 2 uh, like the, <laughs> on goals. It's, it's shocking, absolutely shocking. But in true West Ham fashion, we've seen it before. I very much doubt it, but it's the West Ham way. You know, two shocking performances on the spin. We'll probably rock up Monday night and turn over Liverpool. And I bloody hope we do. You know, we, we need a bit of a lift. It's been, it's been a real, real crap month. With everything going on with the Anatovic, um, Anatovic saga, not bringing anyone in in the window, you know the unrest that's been going on within the squad by the looks of things, picking up injuries again to key players. We need a boost, and this could be a massive one. You know, Pellegrini said this is a game we can win. You know, it said you look at the stats, the odds are backed against us. Liverpool are outright favourites to some, but. You just never know. This is why we love football. It's an unpredictable game. You know, you just never know. We've seen it before. We've put on a decent shift against Arsenal, decent shift against Man United and got results. What I don't want to see is the performance we did against Manchester City where we just rolled over and got our bellies tickled. We need to have a go at this if we've got any chance of getting anything out of this game. Um, when we look at injury news, <coughs> Aaron Creswell should be back. Please, please, please. I can't stand... Another game with Masawaku playing left back. The guy has been absolutely awful for the past two games. Creswell needs to come in um, into the left back position. You know, it just gives us a bit more defensively. Uh, worrying to see Arnie go off the field on uh, Tuesday night with the injury that he had. Luckily enough, it's not too serious. It's really badly bruised. So they're going to assess him. I think it would have been yesterday morning because I'm filming this on Sunday. So hopefully we'll see him in the squad uh, for tomorrow as well as Fabianski, who picked up that arm injury um, in goal. He did take a right clattering um, in the Wolves game. So, you know, he, against Wolves, he was outstanding. You know, to, to be fair, he kept the scoreline respectable. Otherwise, it could have got really, really embarrassing. So, you know, it'd be a big boost having him back in goal. He's had a great season so far. Probably de deserves a lot more clean sheets that he's ended up than what he's ended up with this season. So, um, you know, it'd be big, big boost to have him back. Um, on the downside, no Nazari. You know, he's, he's, Pellegrini's he's come out and said he's got another week uh, to recover from the injury he picked up against Bournemouth. So that is a bit of a blow, you know, especially if Arnie's playing. Nazari and Arnie do link up well there. You know, and he, he's he's a player that makes things tick. And we saw against Wolves, who was lacking that a bit. You know, someone picking that pass. So we'll have to wait and see um, who, who will continue to fill that spot. With Nazari missing. Uh, Liverpool, they are without Gomez and Alexander Arnold, um, <clears throat> but they do have James Milner back after he served his one game ban last time against Leicester. You know, and, and when we when we look at the results, you know, look at that Leicester result for Liverpool last week. The game they were fully expected to win. Leicester put a performance in, got a draw out of it. You know, as I said, 
I'd rather us get beat having a go at Liverpool than trying to do what we did against City, just sitting back and letting them roll over us. You know, let's have a go at them. They're very, very threatening on the counter-attack, which is, which is a worry for me. You know, their front three is unbelievable. But when we click, we cause teams problems, and we are going to need to click on Monday night. Um, so, yeah, fingers crossed. You know, as I said, it is the West Ham way to rock up, rock up at the London Stadium and get a win. So, you know, fingers crossed. Let's hope we go out there and get it. <clears throat> Thank you very much for watching. Uh, the guys will be around for Fan Cam's Exeter Stadium store after the game. So come and find us, have a chat, tell us all your views on West Ham related. You know, if you want to get vent some frustration about the team or anything like that, just you know, or even turn around and say how well people are performing. Come down, have your say. It's always good to see new faces um, on the channel. So uh, yeah, come and find us after the game. We won't be doing a post-match pint, obviously, because it's a night kickoff, so there will be a post-match reaction. So make sure you check out that. Uh, thank you very much for watching. One thing left to say: come on, you are.